Hello everyone, this is Dr. Zawahir, a practicing surgeon from New York City. The topic I'm going to discuss today is immunity and the COVID-19 pandemic presently gripping our planet. And I will discuss the subject under three headings. First, what we currently know about COVID-19 immunity. Secondly, what we do not know about it. And thirdly, what we hope to achieve. First, we don't know for certain if people are immune to reinfection simply because not enough studies have yet been done. Preliminary studies, however, show that antibodies against the virus are maintained for at least three months. Some studies go as far as to suggest that it may last longer. Recent studies have shown that patients who have recovered from mild COVID-19 had memory B cells and memory T cells with hallmarks of functionality. Memory cells give our immune system memory of previous microbial invaders, allowing it to have a quicker, stronger response the next time we encounter them. What this means is that if people are re-exposed to the virus, these memory cells along with antibodies will likely protect people from symptoms and further transmission. Immune memory to other diseases such as measles can last for many years and we hope that this would be true of COVID-19 as well. In a different study published in the New England Journal of Medicine, researchers in Iceland studied 1,107 people who had recovered from COVID-19 and tested positive for their antiviral antibodies. Over a four month period of time, they found that those antiviral antibodies against COVID-19 had not declined, which is a good sign. Now to what we don't know about COVID-19 immunity. Firstly, is anybody pr protected after an infection? And if so, how long does the protection last? Are there factors related to the patient's age or other comorbidities <coughs> that affect immunity? Are there factors related to the virus infection such as severity of illness that affect immunity? What's the best way to measure immunity? Is it by measuring antibodies? Is there a specific type of antibody to measure? And lastly, how long will protection last after vaccination? Now to an important topic of much discussion, herd immunity. What is herd immunity and why is it important? Herd immunity is the concept that if enough people are protected from infection, either by gaining immunity from having the infection themselves or receiving a vaccine, then the chance of a non-immune person contracting the disease is exceedingly low because there are not a lot of people who could transmit the virus. However, it would be a bad idea to simply allow the disease to spread unchecked in an effort to reach herd immunity more quickly. A vaccine, therefore, is the ideal way to achieve herd immunity and widespread use of vaccines is the key to controlling this pandemic. Several vaccines are in development all over the world but until an effective and safe vaccine is available, we must use tools like physical distancing and mask wearing to keep transmission down. Having said this, I would like to take this opportunity, which is a great opportunity to reach people, to make a personal plea to the people watching this. Please do not even for a moment believe that the virus has gone away. Almost every day I have the opportunity to speak with friends and associates in Chennai and everyone tells me, sir, everything is okay here. Everything is back to normal. That is a false sense of security. Statistics do not support this conclusion. The United States, my adopted country and my born and brought up country, India, have the dubious distinction 
Mark my words, dubious distinction of being the number one and the number two countries most affected in the world. There are a number of reasons for this catastrophe. My purpose is not here to discuss these mistakes by governments or politicians or anything. My purpose here is to make you, you, the people understand that the pandemic is very much alive amongst us. The virus has neither changed its habits nor its habitat. We have nothing in our arsenal to combat it. But we have some awesome tried and trusted weapons in our hands. What are they? We have the masks. We have social distancing. We have avoidance of congregated environments like churches and mosques and temples and cleanliness. Please understand, these preventive measures do work. So my friends, until we have a safe and effective vaccine, we cannot give up on any of this. This not only saves you, but also saves your parents and grandparents sitting at home who, do not, who did not expose themselves to this. You expose yourself, you bring it home and give it to the others. So it is also your social responsibility so it is my fervent hope that all of you will listen to the scientists and wear the mask. Please, please, thank you for this opportunity.